Well, people, now that I've laid my law down, okay, for this year, it's back to boxing. So, welcome to my latest career matchup, okay? I'm going to do a whole number of these before the end of the year. I've got about another five ready already um, on different fighters, including one that Antonio Mosley requested that is ready and will come in its due course. But we are looking at here two fighters, okay? We're both unified lightweight champions to differing degrees. Um, their careers are similar size. Um, also in their careers, even though Marquez won titles in more weights, they also both titled um, light well away and lightweight. So it's a very good career matchup, okay? Two very tough competitors, two outstanding fighters. Um, Carlos Ortiz, the great Carlos Ortiz versus uh, the modern great Mexican multiweight champion Juan Manuel Marquez. So we will compare their careers and contrast. After which you can make up your mind on who you think had the better career. So let's go to slide one, okay, of this career matchup. And slide one, Carlos Ortiz goes 20-0, and 0, okay, fully unbeaten with nine KOs, um, leaving himself combined record of 20-0 and 0 with nine KOs. Now, Juan Manuel Marquez did lose, okay, one of his first 20 professional fights. He has a record of 19-1 and 1, um, with no draws and 14 knockouts and thus a combined record of 19-1. and 1 with 14 KOs. Now, as we know, the rated uh, the opponents for criteria of these videos, okay, Carlos Ortiz fought no opponents who qualify in those first 20 professional fights, okay. Juan Manuel Marquez did. It was against Julio Gavaccio, okay, who was a former champion and former top 10 rated fighter. So, advantage in opponent, albeit one opponent, okay, over Juan Manuel Marquez. So, when we look at the bottom, okay, Carlos Ortiz has no fights against champions. He's zeros. Juan Manuel Marquez is, is out of the gates, okay, one win, no loss, no draw, and against Hall of Famers, neither fighter has yet fought a Hall of Famer, um, so they are zeros, and Marquez does have that one win over a top 10 rated fighter, whereas Carlos Ortiz is zeros, neither um, Carlos Ortiz or Juan Manuel Marquez have fought a top 3 rated fighter, um, and neither have yet fought a ring champion, although in both cases that will change. But for this first slide, really, not much to report, okay? Carlos Ortiz goes unbeaten, has just shy of a 50% knockout ratio. Marquez has over a 50% knockout ratio, um, but he did suffer the one defeat. But then again, Juan Manuel Marquez has beaten his first rated opponent, okay? Although not a great opponent, but still a rated opponent, um, former strap holder in Julio Gavaccio. So... You could argue this slide goes to Marquez. You know, he's out of the gates. His stats are out of the gates. Um, you know, Carlos Ortiz um, has fought fighters, but not fought anybody rated. So on this first slide, I will kind of give it very slightly to Juan Manuel Marquez, even though Carlos Ortiz is unbeaten. But this actual career matchup is very tough. You know, Juan Manuel Marquez more recently joined the Hall of Fame. Um, Carlos Ortiz, of course, already in the Hall of Fame. Both these guys are Hall of Famers. And both of these guys are Hall of Famers in my own Boxing Librarian Hall of Fame. And with a similar career number, it was a great matchup. But what do you think is going to happen going forward? One of the advantages of doing career matchups like this is there's nothing left on the table. Everything is laid out in a matchup directly between um, two fighters. And when I first started doing videos like this back in 2015 um, into 2016, I found it's just a great way to show the careers um, against each other. Wait while you see me blue screens come later in the year with some amendments on stat slides and things there. But that's a topic for another time. So, Carlos Ortiz and Marquez both start out not doing too much. Marquez has lost, Ortiz is unbeaten. Marquez has beaten a rated opponent and he's out of the gates on the stats. So, let us now go to this second slide, which is a bigger. So, Carlos Ortiz, okay, in this 20 fight run, clearly um, outdoes the work of Juan Manuel Marquez. Ortiz goes 16 win, 4 loss, no draw, with 4 KOs. Juan Manuel Marquez maintains the same record 19 win, 1 loss, but scores a few more KOs this time, coming in with 16. So, after 40 fights, Carlos Ortiz has a record of 36 wins, 4 losses, no draws, and 13 KOs. Juan Manuel Marquez has a record of 38 wins, 2 losses, no draws, and 30 KOs. So, clearly, the opponents on this slide are heavily um, outnumbered for Marquez against Carlos Ortiz. Now, Carlos Ortiz beat former top 10 rated fighter Joey Lopez. Okay, he then uh, fought and lost to former top 10 rated contender Johnny Busso before coming back and beating Johnny Busso in a rematch. Carlos Ortiz then beat a good fighter, the Dartford Destroyer, top 10 and top 3 rated UK fighter Dave Shanley, before then fighting the excellent fighter. I've recently done a career video on the excellent top 10 and top 
three rated Kenny Lane. Uh, Carlos Ortiz loses to Kenny Lane before then beating former top 10 and top three rated contender Len Matthews. He then goes back in for a rematch with Kenny Lane, the top 10 and top three rated contender, and Carlos Ortiz avenges the defeat to Kenny Lane as he avenged the defeat to Johnny Busso. Now, Carlos Ortiz then beats former top 10 rated Battling Torres before gaining an underrated win, okay, over the excellent Italian former light welterweight champion Duilio Loy, a top 10, top 3 ring champion and a Hall of Fame fighter. Now, Carlos Ortiz wins that first fight, but then he does lose a rematch to Duilio Loy. Carlos Ortiz comes back after that with a win over top 10 rated Cisco Andrade before fighting Duilio Loy in a trilogy fight, okay? Um, the top 10 uh, ring champion and Hall of Fame Loy beats Carlos Ortiz the second from three fights. So, um, Carlos Ortiz loses a trilogy, but to an outstanding fighter. He he then fights top 10 and top 3 rated contender Douglas Vailant, gaining a win before then also beating uh, the tough contender top 10 and top 3 rated Paolo Rossi. And then he gains a win, okay, over a second Hall of Famer on here. That is against Old Bones, okay, the great lightweight champion Joe Brown, who is a top 10 and top 3 ring champion and Hall of Famer. So very, very good work and very busy resume um, in this second 45 run for the great Carlos Ortiz. Now, Juan Manuel Marquez, meanwhile, beats former um, alphabet holder Agapito Sanchez. Um, he then also beats former top 10 rated champion Alfred Cote before then fighting and losing Okay, to top 10 and top 3 rated Freddie Norwood. Now, Juan Manuel Marquez then beats former world champion Daniel Jimenez before then beating former top 10 rated contender to Julio Gamboa and then he closes out his fights on this slide okay a smaller slide of opponents compared to Marquez's next run which is quite an immense one um, against top 10 rated champion Robbie Pedden so, okay, before we talk about the opponents, we'll talk about the stats. So, Carlos Ortiz, okay, has four fights against champions now to Juan Manuel Marquez is six. Now, Marquez has more wins. Um, Carlos Ortiz is two win, two loss, no draw. Marquez is five wins with just the one loss to Freddie Norwood, who's a very decent fighter himself. Carlos Ortiz, though, has shot off in the Hall of Fame fights. He's had four fights in total to Juan Manuel Marquez is zeros. Uh, I've had to put the slides this way because... I couldn't fit them on, okay, uh, without making the writing too small. Um, Carlos Ortiz thus has two wins against Hall of Famers. And against rated fighters, we can see that Carlos Ortiz has shot off into a lead. He's already gone to 15 fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of 11 win, 4 loss, no draw. Juan Manuel Marquez has now gone to five fights against rated fighters. Um, of course, Agapito Sanchez and Daniel Jimenez were not rated. So he's four win with just the one loss and no draws. Um, and against top three rated fighters, Carlos Ortiz is it double figures already, um, going seven win, three loss lost no draw while Juan Manuel Marquez has the one fight against Freddie Norwood it was a defeat and he's no win one loss and no draw and Carlos Ortiz has advantage in ring champions fights okay he's had four so far up to the 40 fight mark with two win two loss no draw Marquez is yet to fight a former ring champion so basically on the stats, okay, Marquez has had more fights and wins against champions, partially helped by Alphabet era, uh, partially because he has fought some good fighters. Um, Ortiz has more wins against all of famous. He has now got nearly treble the number of wins against top 10 fighters. Um, he's got way more wins against top three rated fighters. Marquez is yet to chalk his first mark down there. And Ortiz has more fights and more wins against ring champions. So in the stats at the bottom, aside from champions, it's a heavy advantage to Carlos Ortiz. He's clearly fighting much more rated opposition and when we look at the names they fought you know Juan Manuel Marquez Agapito Sanchez and Alfred Cote alphabet strap holders like Daniel Jimenez I mean the the best names on there for Juan Manuel Mar Marquez in my book are the loss to Freddie Norwood okay so that is a defeat and the win over Robbie Pedden when you look at the side for Carlos Ortiz, okay, he simply overpowers Juan Manuel Marquez on this slide um, in my book. Too many good names. Now, he did beat Dave Shanley, who was a very, very good fighter indeed. He also fought twice Kenny Lane, the outstanding long-rated contender Kenny Lane, who's also um, you know, a former pound-pounder. Losing the first fight, but winning the second fight, he also beat the capable Len Matthews. And has a trilogy, okay, against Duilio Loy. Now, like I said, he did lose a trilogy, okay, two fights to one, but he still has that outstanding win against Duilio Loy, who was a major league fighter down at that weight at that time. Very, very hard fighter to beat. 
So it's not only in beating those opponents and, and the stats, it's also in the quality of names. You know, capped off for Carlos Ortiz with that great win um, over Joe Old Bones Brown, one of the um, greatest lightweight champions of all time. So in opposition, I'm very sorry to say, not only in the stats, it's heavy advantage Carlos Ortiz, but in opposition on this slide, it is clearly um, advantage to Carlos Ortiz. Even though he's lost more defeats on here, he has also beaten all three men okay, who have beaten him. He lost to Johnny Busso and then beat him. He lost to Kenny Lane and then beat him. And then he'd also prior beating Dwilly Oloy before losing twice. So even the names on here that Carlos Ortiz has lost to, he has also beaten all of those men in the ring as well. Whereas Marquez has lost to Freddie Norwood and has not yet avenged um, that defeat. And also Marquez had to wait nearly a decade to win his first title. So what he accomplished later was quite incredible, really. But meanwhile, heavy advantage Ortiz dominated that slide. But on this slide, this is much tougher. Look at this for a slide for both men. Now, Carlos Ortiz in this run, okay, goes 17 win, 2 loss, 1 draw with 10 KOs. So, Carlos Ortiz from 60 fights has an excellent record of 53 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw and 23 knockouts. But Marquez, even though he suffers more defeats um, on this slide than Ortiz, is no slouch either going 15 win, 4 loss, 1 draw with 9 KOs. So, he has an identical record of 53 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw and 39 KOs. Just an interesting tie that both of these guys after 60 fights have exactly the same record, but Marquez has way more knockouts, coming in with 39 knockouts compared to Carlos Ortiz's 23. And when we go through the opponents, as we will now, my goodness. Now, Carlos Ortiz beat top 10 rated contender Arthur Persley. He then beat former top 10 and top 3 rated contender Kazuo Takeyama before then fighting and beating top 10 and top 3 rated contender Teruo Kosoka. He then gained a second win over top 10 and top 3 rated contender Douglas Valant before then beating former top 10 and top 3 rated contender Morris Cullen. Carlos Ortiz then adds another great name to his roster of great wins. Okay, the great Filipino Flash, top 10 and top 3 rated um, champion and Hall of Famer Gabriel Elord. What an outstanding name that is to have on your resume. He then gains a second win from three fights, two on the last slide, one here against the outstanding top 10 and top 3 rated contender Kenny Lane. Now, Carlos Ortiz's first defeat on here is to a fighter called Ishmael Laguna, a top 10 and top 3 rated champion and Hall of Famer. And just like on the last slide, Ortiz comes back and beats Ishmael Laguna in a rematch. Okay, that's another major name there. He then fights, you know, the great defensive fighter, Nicolino Loche, one of Argentinian's great champions. Uh, Loche, top 10 and top 3 champion and Hall of Famer and ring champion, fights to a draw against Carlos Ortiz. Ortiz then beats top 10 and top 3 rated contender Johnny Bizarro before adding another excellent name to his roster. That is top 10 and top 3 ring champion and Hall of Famer Sugar Ramos. He then follows that with a second win over the Filipino Flash Gabriel Elord, the Hall of Fame ring champion, before then gaining a second win over Hall of Famer and ring champion Sugar Ramos. He then fights a trilogy fight okay, against the outstanding former fighter Ishmael Laguna to win the trilogy on this slide 2-1 with a second win from three against the top 10 and top three rated Hall of Famer before losing his last fight on here to the excellent um, top 10 and top three former ring champion Carlos Teo Cruz. Wow, that is one hell of a list of names there. Let us go on to Marquez before we then go and double back and have a look at them. So Marquez beat a fighter who holds a distinction with Ray Robinson as one of only two fighters to be a five-time champion in one division, albeit his title success does not match Robinson's. Uh, but Manuel Medina is certainly a major fighter in modern featherweight history. He's top 10 and top 3 rated champion. Juan Manuel Marquez then beats former top 10 rated champion Derek Gaynor, who was also a decent fighter, before having the first fight with the great Manny Pacquiao himself, a top 10, top 3 ring champion, and will be a Hall of Famer, but can't be included in there yet because he's not in yet. I mean, too many people on YouTube like to call people all of famous before they're in. I always wait while they're in. Uh, if I do, I'll say he could be a future all of famous. 
But uh, Marquez follows that, okay, with a win over top 10 and top 3 rated champion Orlando Salido before then defeating top 10 contender Victor Polo. Juan Manuel Marquez then loses to long reigning champion top 10 and top 3 rated champion Chris John from Indonesia before then gaining a great win on his resume um, against Marco Antonio Barrera, another of the modern great Mexican multiweight champions. Barrera, of course, top 10 and top 3 champion and now in the Hall of Fame in recent years, as has uh, Marquez and Morales joined him and well deservingly. Meanwhile, Marquez then defeats top 10 and top 3 rated Rocky Rocky Juarez before fighting Manny Pacquiao for a second time. Now in this fight, Marquez loses um, to the ring champion and future Hall of Famer Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Marquez then comes and gains another fantastic name over top 10 and top 3 ring champion Joel Casamayor, the Cuban fighter, before then gaining another excellent name against top 10 and top 3 rated champion Juan uh, the Bull Diaz. Now Juan Manuel Marquez then fights and loses in one side of fashion um, to modern Hall of Famer Floyd Mayweather Jr., also ring champion, etc., etc., the whole works, before Marquez then gains a second win um, over the baby bull Juan Diaz, who was top 10 and top 3 rated champion. Marquez then defeats the always exciting top 10 and top 3 rated contender Michael Katsidis, before then losing, okay, his second fight from three on here to the great Manny Pacquiao himself, um, you know, to close out his show. But that is another very strong fight run there um, from Juan Manuel Marquez. What an outstanding list of fights there with some great opponents included. So Ortiz now has gone to 13 fights against champions. His 8 win, 4 loss, 1 draw. Marquez has now gone to 18, okay, um, including 12 win, 5 loss and 1 draw. Against Hall of Famers though, um, it's not advantage Marquez like in champions. Um, Carlos Ortiz has now had 12 fights against Hall of Fame names to Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel Marquez is two, but of course Marquez in future will get Pacquiao added, but his Hall of Fame stats will be upgraded as his um, career is upgraded with them, but at the moment he's only got two, one win, one loss, no draw. Against rated fighters though, Carlos Ortiz has also piled ahead, he's now over 30 fights against top 10 rated fighters, Juan Manuel Marquez comes in at 20, Ortiz is 24 wins, 6 loss, 1 draw, uh, that is 10 more wins than Marquez has run of 14 win, 5 loss and 1 draw. And against top three rated fighters, it's a similar tale. Uh, the great Carlos Ortiz comes in with 25 fights against top three fighters up to now, including 19 win, five loss, one draw, to Marquez's 14, including eight win, five loss, one draw. And against ring champions, Carlos Ortiz not only um, beats Marquez's figure, but also he has a winning run in there. 10 fights against ring champions, 6 win, 3 loss, 1 draw, whereas Marquez now has 5, including 1 win, 3 loss, 1 draw. So basically, in the stats at the bottom, you know, Marquez has more fights and more wins against champions. Carlos Ortiz has more fights and more wins against all of famous, more fights and more wins against top 10 fighters, more fights and more wins against top three fighters, and more fights and more wins against ring champions. Now, when we look at the actual opponents matched up here, both of these guys have a staggeringly tough run here. Now, on one side, we've got Carlos Ortiz, who defeats Gabriel Elord on two occasions. He also beats the excellent Sugar Ramos on two occasions and also fights a trilogy against the excellent um, Ishmael Laguna winning the trilogy on here 2-1. Carlos Ortiz also fights a draw um, with Hall of Famer Nicolino Loche as well as fighting a whole array of other champions or top contenders like Carlos Teo Cruz, top contender Johnny Bizarro, um, etc, etc. A really, really tough run. And on Marquez's side, Okay, he's defeated Manuel Medina. Okay, he's defeated Marco Antonio Barrera. He's twice defeated Juan Diaz. He's also defeated Joel Casamayor. Now, on this slide, okay, Marquez has more defeats, okay. Carlos Ortiz has lost to two fighters. Um, for the first slide, he hasn't avenged a defeat to one of them. That's Carlos Teo Cruz. But Ishmael Laguna, who he lost to, he also come back and beat on two occasions. Juan Manuel Marquez lost to Chris John and has never avenged it. He also lost to Floyd Mayweather and never avenged it. Um, and lost twice to Pacquiao on here, which he will avenge um, one of the defeats to Pacquiao, but not on this slide. So it's a tougher slide to match. Um, but if I went on it, okay, the wins over Barrera um, and Casamayor and Medina are not better. Some of them are fairly levelly, evenly matched up. Some of the wins on Marquez's side are more than a match um, for the wins on um, Carlos Ortiz's side. But to me, the thing that separates it is Carlos Ortiz 
just has a number of wins on there that while the win over Barrera, um, you know, while a few of the other wins over Medina and Juan Diaz are excellent wins and Sol- Solido, you know, Marquez has beaten a lot of good opposition there. Um, but even with the, the Barrera win and some of the other guys he's beaten like Juan Diaz, to me, just do not beat the two wins over Gabriela Lord, the two wins over Ishmael Laguna. And even many at contenders that Marquez fought, uh, many of them are a match for the fighters that Carlos Ortiz fought. But he hasn't really beat any fighter superior to Elord or Laguna um, that you can say, with exception of Marco Antonio Barrera, who can be put in that category. To me, Casamayor and Juan Diaz are just a step down from that level. Um, so overall, over the resume on this slide, I would say I would give the advantage um, to Carlos Ortiz, okay, he suffered less defeats, he's fought a high level of opposition, and looking at the, the fight numbers, what is it, 16 fights, is it, 16 fights, is it, for Carlos Ortiz, and 15 fights for Marquez, so very similar in number of rated fighters fought, 16 from 20 for Ortiz, 15 from 20 for Marquez, but Marquez has just suffered a few more defeats, in Floyd and in Pacquiao, he's fought the greatest fighter, even over Laguna and Elord, etc. But he hasn't won them. Okay, so we have to, you know, accept that. Even though you can say Marquez to me has fought the better overall name, he hasn't won any of them. So on to the next slide. Okay, we have our final slide. Carlos Ortiz goes eight win, one loss, no draw, with seven KOs. Um, so he retires with a record of sixty one wins, seven loss, one draw and 30 KOs. Juan Manuel Marquez, meanwhile, goes three win, one loss, no draw, with one KO. So he has a combined record of 56 wins, seven loss, one draw, and 40 KOs. So similar records in many ways. Carlos Ortiz loses to Hall of Fame former ring champion and great Scots fighter Ken Buchanan. While Juan Manuel Marquez, okay, scores wins on here. So he wins this slide outright. A, because he has wins on here, and B, He's beaten a great, great all-time fighter on here, Manny Patman Pacquiao, by brutal knockout. Okay, the top ten, um, top three ring champion and no doubt future Hall of Famer, Manny Pacquiao. So Marquez wins this slide. He's had less fights, um, but he's also had a fight with top ten and top three rated champion Tim Bradley, which was a loss, and he's also gained a win over former top ten rated champion Mike Alvarado. Sorry, people, throat just went a bit chickly there. So the stats at the bottom are now back in normal order. Carlos Ortiz has 14 fights against champions, going 8 win, 5 loss, 1 draw. Marquez bears that with 21, including 14 win, 6 loss, 1 draw. So advantage Marquez in champions. Advantage Hall of Famous is still heavily to Carlos Ortiz and would be even if Pacquiao joins the Hall. Okay, Carlos Ortiz will still have a large advantage in Hall of Fame fights and wins. Um, even if Pacquiao joins the Hall, like I said, he's got 13 fights against Hall of Famous. Uh, Juan Manuel Marquez is one win, one loss, no draw from two. And against top 10 rated fighters, Carlos Ortiz has 32 fights. 24 wins, 7 loss, 1 draw. Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel Marquez ends on 23, including 16 wins, 6 loss, and 1 draw. And top 3 fights is dominated again by Carlos Ortiz. Uh, he includes 19 wins, 6 loss, 1 draw. Uh, Juan Manuel Marquez has 16 fights, including 9 wins, 6 loss, and 1 draw. Yeah, I'm not used to doing big videos. My cough and cold are virtually gone, but if I talk for a long time, I get a bit tickly in my throat. Meanwhile, Carlos Ortiz has 11 fights against ring champions, going 6 win, 4 loss, 1 draw. While Juan Manuel Marquez has a number of fights against ring champions with a losing record of 2, 3 and 1. So this is the first slide, I'll say. You know, I could say Marquez took the first slide because he fought a rated fighter and former champion. Um, and I can say that Marquez has took this slide. The last two slides I have to both give to Carlos Ortiz, even though Barrera is on par with fighters like Ishmael Laguna and Gabriela Lord. The sheer number of top quality wins Carlos Ortiz had on the last slide, slightly bettered fighters like uh, Katsidis and Juan Diaz and Casamayor, even though they are outstanding fighters themselves. So basically, Marquez has more fights and wins against champions, but Ortiz has more fights and more wins 
by a margin against all of famous. He has way more fights against top 10 fighters will way more wins. Way more fights against top three fighters will way more wins. Uh, more than double the number of wins against top three fighters. Um, and he has way more fights and wins against ring champions and has three times the number of wins. So the two biggest slides I go to Ortiz, okay, the two smaller slides I give to Juan Manuel Marquez. I could say on I could say on this video, but I don't rate this way. Some people do because they're very shallow. That well, Marquez has beat the greater fighter on these two videos, Manny Pacquiao, which I would agree with. But Manny Pacquiao doesn't make a whole resume, and Carlos Ortiz has a very powerful resume. So I would give the overall career advantage to Carlos Ortiz. Now let's look at some of the stats, okay? So on this first slide, okay, we'll have some basic stats now. Champions beat, it's heavy advantage Juan Manuel Marquez. Carlos Ortiz beat five champions. Juan Manuel Marquez beat 13 individual world champions, nearly trebled that total, partially as well helped by the alphabet era. Um, but still, the total is the total. You can't criticise Marquez for beating as many champions as he has. Now, Carlos Ortiz, okay, beat five individual Hall of Famers, um, which far is superior, far superior to how Marquez has won. And Carlos Ortiz was pound pound top 10 rated in my all time ratings for seven individual years. That is a, a, quite a significant advantage over Juan Manuel Marquez's total of four years top 10 rated. But in pound pounders beat, they're very similar. Um, Carlos Ortiz beat six pound pound rated fighters. Juan Manuel Marquez is very close on five. Now, record against pound pounders, Carlos Ortiz has a much bigger record, um, including 17 fights compared to Marquez's 12. And Carlos Ortiz has more wins with a record of 10 wins, 6 loss, 1 draw to Marquez's 6 win, 5 loss, 1 draw. But both of these guys, okay, have scored 2 wins over pound pound top 3 rated fighters, so Marquez ties him there, and they have both scored 1 win over a pound pound number 1 rated fighter, so drawn there. Uh, both of these guys were pound pound rated in my all-time ratings, um, but neither one of them ever got to that all-important number 1 pound pound spot. And in terms of opposition for and beat, when I match their opposition score against against each other. Uh, Marquez does very well on opposition for and beat, but sadly not as well as Carlos Ortiz. And I think to kind of mirror the way the career matchup has gone in my mind, were Marquez winning first slide, last slide. But those two big slides, one of them was more clearly advantage Carlos Ortiz. That was the fight run up to 40. And I more narrowly edged um, the run from 40 to 60 also to Carlos Ortiz. And that's kind of shown in the opposition for which Carlos Ortiz does win um, and opposition beat that Carlos Ortiz also wins. But ultimately, Juan Manuel Marquez has done very well. I think in this way, when you get two great fighters like this who both have great resumes, um, you know, Marquez will get Pacquiao added to Hall of Fame. There's another four Hall of Fame fights, even though he'll still be well shy um, of Carlos Ortiz's total in wins and overall fights against Hall of Famers. Juan Manuel Marquez has done very well. I think that Carlos Ortiz, in a way, um, with his career, has just too many big names. You know, even though Marquez has the fights with Pacquiao, he's got the fights with... Um, um, oh god my mind's gone blank uh, he's got the fights with Salido and Chris John and Juan Diaz and Casamayor um, and Pacquiao of course and Norwood and all these other guys I just think Carlos Ortiz's names are just a bit stronger historically when you talk about Gabriela Lord, Joe Brown Ishmael Laguna even though Marquez in beating fighters like Pacquiao and Barrera has beaten Hall of Famers okay uh, well one Hall of Famer one future Hall of Famer I think his career is just, just a bit shy, strong enough to be considered better than Carlos Ortiz's. But ultimately, that's my opinion, okay? Um, ultimately, when you view this video and look at the stats on these two guys, ultimately, it will be your opinion what you make um, on their careers. But I have to favour the career matchup to Carlos Ortiz. In terms of stats, Marquez gives a very good account of himself. He's beaten more champions. He has lost out on some stats, but also pushed Carlos Ortiz very close or tied in others, okay, so we have to also point out that while I give the career matchup to Carlos Ortiz, we cannot diminish what Juan Manuel Marquez has accomplished because he has pushed him, okay, he hasn't bettered him, but he has pushed him a hell of a lot. 
uh, and Carlos Ortiz is a great fighter. So that puts Marquez up in that category. So let's go on to this next stat slide to close out the video. So uh, slight advantage Ortiz there, but not by much. When we look at this one, both of these, well, both of these guys were world champions, sorry, in similar weight classes, but Marquez has won titles in more weight. So advantage Marquez. Uh, he's a four weight world champion. Carlos Ortiz, of course, was light welterweight and lightweight champion. Now, in terms of being a lineal champion, okay, it's back advantage Carlos Ortiz. Ortiz was a lineal champion in two ways and was a three-time lineal champion. Juan Manuel Marquez has won lineal titles in one way and been a one-time lineal champion. And it's dominated in the undisputed stakes by Carlos Ortiz. He has also, like the lineal titles, been a two-way undisputed champion. And Carlos Ortiz is also in that rare air in boxing history of being a three-time undisputed champion. Juan Manuel Marquez has never been undisputed. So in the overall titles, uh, weights and titles, okay, uh, Marquez has won titles in more weights, but Carlos Ortiz has been a three-time lineal champion. He's superior on lineal titles. He's clearly dominating on the undisputed over uh, multiple titles, so advantage Carlos Ortiz. But they have both won six world titles. Uh, their title fight record, Carlos Ortiz, has slightly more title fights, coming in at 18 um, compared to Marquez's 15. Uh, Carlos Ortiz also has more title fight wins, going 14 win, 4 loss, no draw, with 10 KOs, while Marquez um, has a title fight record of 9 win, 5 loss, 1 draw, and 3 KOs. So overall, title fight numbers, slight advantage to Carlos Ortiz. In terms of title defences, it is again a slight advantage Carlos Ortiz he makes 11 title defenses to Juan Manuel Marquez is 7 um, and Carlos Ortiz in terms of title fight rounds even though he has more KOs in title fights he's still fought more title fight rounds coming in with 201 um, to Juan Manuel Marquez's total of 164 and when we look at the unified title fight record uh, Carlos Ortiz had 15 unified title fights compared to Marquez's 7 Ortiz it's double figures in wins coming in with 11 win 4 loss no draw um, with seven unified title defences. Marquez has an unbeaten run as unified champion. Seven fights, six win, no loss, one draw, and five title defences. So a bit like the career matchup in its entirety, and a bit like the last stat slide. Okay, Ortiz has advantages. Marquez's main advantages are in weight champion and champions beat. Okay, and in lots of other things, Marquez pushes him close or draws with him, but then Ortiz wins some other things clearly, um, like the undisputed titles, the lineal titles. Marquez has won titles in more weights. They both won six titles, but... Ortiz has the bigger title fight record. He's got more KOs in title fights, more wins. He's made more defences, fought more title fight rounds, had way more unified title fights and got way more unified title fight wins. Um, so just like the Korea matchup, you know, Marquez puts up a lot of stiff resistance, but I think his career is just a bit overpowered um, by the great Puerto Rican Carlos Ortiz. So that pretty much ends my career matchup, okay? It's been two fighters of a similar fight number. I have more career matchups to come, um, and I'm going to be doing more, okay? Like I said, by end of year, I want this number to bulk up. It's about 68, 69 now. I want to bulk it up to 100 by end of year, roughly, or as close to that as possible. So there's going to be a number of career matchups. To me, Juan Manuel Marquez is one of great fighters at last 20 years. He's a highly accomplished world champion, a unified champion, a multiweight champion. He's got an outstanding in resume but so does Carlos Ortiz and in his time he was one of the great fighters of his time he's one of the great lightweight champions of all time um multi-time lineal undisputed champion with a fantastic resume to me Marquez is outstanding but Carlos Ortiz just overpowers him um, to a certain extent so there's my latest career matchup for now many more videos coming over the coming days weeks and months I'm out for now